Hi guys and welcome back to my island. My name is Johanna. Now you might notice uh, this actually isn't my island. This is Briar Rink, my original island. Uh, but I wanted to do a video today that talks about five tips on how you can hopefully boost your HH. A score here in Animal Crossing regardless of the number of rooms that you might have whether you're just beginning or you've reset your game or you're a five-month veteran and I hopefully this helps shout out to my friend Andy for inspiring this video Now the reason why I wanted to showcase this is because it does give you an idea if you have the, what is it, total maxed out house, so you've got the three rooms on this level, you've got the attic and you have the basement, but at the end of the video I will show you what I do with my current island, which is more of a studio apartment, and some ideas there. Now I do have an S rating on this house, and so I'll give you some of my thoughts and some of my ways that I design. My first tip is actually probably pretty simple, and it's to empty out the space. I would definitely work room from room and empty the space one at a time. So if you're working on this front room here, get everything out um, so that all you have is your walls and your floors and then pick that first. Or um, what you can do, and this actually goes into number two, is once the space is empty, give the space a name give the space a function, whether it's a living room, whether it's a playroom, a dining room, a dungeon, whatever it is you're making it, give it a name so that you can look through the stuff that you have or the stuff that you can make and figure out, okay, what can go in there? Now, tip number three is actually, um, I think, really showcased with this here, although more so showcased with the bedroom and we'll see that in a minute is you have a space within a space and actually I have four distinct spaces here I have this little seating area you can make a puzzle you can sit down and cruise have a cup of coffee you can go to this area here watch some TV which is on the wall there but you can also do some storage, do some DIY. I know that the bookshelves are pointing the wrong way, but I only ever look at this room coming in through the door and I wanted to see the books, so that's why they're there. And there's even records here and a music player just in case. So even though it's one room, it does serve different functions. Now if I go up to the bedroom, you'll actually see a better example of that. Now depending on your spacing, um, don't be afraid to use the largest rugs that will fit the space in order to sort of cement it and ground it. Now this is actually the largest size rug you can get in the game that I'm aware of and yet because the room is so large it definitely makes it a distinct area. So this is a seating room um, or seating area where you can cruise, watch the fireplace, listen to some music. There's something back here so that you can write if you're feeling like. There's a cat in the basket just chilling. <laughs> but on here, it's distinctly and definitely a bedroom. So by just using a big item like this, you would think it would sort of make the room look smaller, but what it really does, it just gives you a definition or defined space. Now this room is also a good example about using color as a design point. Now to me, especially when it gets a little darker in the evening, this room is really moody. So the orange walls reflect a lot of the candlelight really prettily. Um, I think the floor really works well with the orange. It's sort of grays and 
like lavenders and then I think this rug actually brings in both the oranges and the purples now for the game in itself I don't know how it sees this if this sees this is tied in together or not but I think the room looks cohesive even though there are multiple spaces because there's a lot of white accents and then still keeping within the oranges and the purples and then the wood tones. Now this is an outdoor couch. It's the extra long one. But I think by making it a lighter tone and making the colors on the pillows pretty deep, you don't really notice it. Originally I had that couch that's downstairs up here, but it didn't fit the scale that I wanted. It looked too small. This one definitely fits better and because it's a light wood tone, it doesn't seem too dark or doesn't seem out of place and I, I, I like that and don't be afraid also to put things in the middle of the room now I can still get to the bed and I can still get to the couch I can get here but what I can't get to is here and I don't need to so long as I can get in one way then that works fine for me the last tip before we get to the bonus is uh, from things that I've seen here on YouTube, if you do use furniture from the same line, it does seem to boost your score. So for instance, the bookshelves and the drawers and the bed, I believe are all either the log cabin style or the wood block style. I think the bed might actually be the wood block style to match the couch there. But the more you can use from the same line, the higher the score that you'll get from the HHA Academy. And then putting things on walls like the terrarium there is something if you have the DIY you can build and I think you can customize the color. The postcards there uh, were something I found in a balloon and then I just customized it so that they look a little bit different. Uh, but also you can put things like the KKK songs on the walls and I believe even all of the different reefs that you uh, get recipes for, you can put that on the walls there. And see that makes a great decoration. Now I have all of these songs already so I'm actually um, now purchasing songs specifically to put them on the walls. My friend Andy has also sent me a few as well. So thank you, sweetie. I do want to show you the kitchen. Uh, when I did the house tour a few days ago, the lights were off, so I think you can see it better now. But I think it's a good use of space, and I think it gives you an idea for some decorating. So on the walls, you can see, and I can't scroll up any higher, but I actually have a collection of clocks. And some of the clocks I made, like those wooden ones, and some of them I bought from the store, and I think one I got in a balloon. But I think if you group things together, it actually makes a good feature. I have yet to find the ironwood dresser so that I can make the ironwood um, sets for the kitchen and so these are just stalls turned backwards um, and I chose the color of the stall to sort of be dark and recede and so that you only focus really on the shelving. Um, none of the furniture actually matches but for me that's okay because from a design perspective it works as a kitchen so you've got the triangle sort of here with the stove, the the what is this called refrigerator and the sink there is some counter space although not much I think I might actually even be able to fit one more desk to give the illusion of counter space but it's still in my mind a functional kitchen uh, the walls because there's no windows down here are pretty light and when I turn all the lights on with the ironwood lights above I think it gives it just a really cheery space I always like to add a little bit of greenery even if it looks fake uh, just because I think it brings a little bit of nature in and so even if you don't have all of the things you can still make it look exactly like a kitchen would. I mean, hopefully you have more counter space and you have your <laughs> music not taking up precious counter space, but if you were to just see this and I not tell you what this is, you definitely would know 
yeah this is a kitchen and I and I think that works all right so let me get back to my island and then I'll show you some tips on how you can decorate if you're like me and you're still working out of a one-room studio <laughs> all right guys so we're back in my house and let me actually run outside real quick I don't remember what rating this was. Nope. So, oh no, oh that one. So we gotta rank A. This time your home scored 10,000 points or more, so we're sending you a commemorative gift. I think S is the highest rank. I'd have to look online, and if I'm, I'm wrong, then I'll put it in the description box because I, I won't have a chance now. But I've only been playing this game because uh, this is new. Uh, we're going into week two. And so you can see, based on the limited items that I have, I have made different areas, and they are grounded specifically <laughs> by rugs. So here you've got the bedroom. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, it's not my favorite. I don't really like this rug. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the bed. I might actually swap that out. I'm not a huge fan of that rug, but it's what I have. I've decorated with music on the walls. I actually only have the radio that came in the original campsite and for me that actually works perfectly well i like the mixture of music that comes on but i still have managed to make some defined spaces here's a little reading place that i can read or study or do whatever i can sit here and i can have some cake i can go and i can get changed and i can see some of my options here on the wall just decorating with some of the cuter clothes that I have. The walls and the floor don't necessarily match, but it does bring some lightness into the room. And so if you are have reset and you're starting at zero, or you are just brand new to the game, hopefully you can see and use some of these ideas in your own house to hopefully boost your score. Now this is always a work in progress, so what my house looks like today, which is Monday, August 24th, might change by next week, Saturday, because Happy Homes always gives you a score on Sunday. And I will want to upgrade, not so much to make it outlandish or you know super fancy I just I want it to get a good score and I want it to look nice because I'm not sure why but at the end of every game I actually finish out by jumping into bed and just going to sleep that's how I finish every time I play whether it's in this one or my original island all right, guys, I hope this video helps. Let me know if you knew some of these tips or if you'll be using them. I'd love to know in the comments below. And from my island to yours, Aloha.